Hello Sagittarius, this is Inspire 2016 with your weekly tarot reading for the week commencing the 30th of January until the 5th of February 2017. The first card for you is representing, how do you feel about yourself? Your card is, the Ace of Wands. Use your creative energy and passion to take the first steps and get this project underway. Even if you like to have everything planned out before you begin down a certain path, the Ace of Wands is encouraging you to listen to your instincts and follow your gut. If it feels like a good idea, it probably is. So, start with a few basic actions to get things underway, and then continue to grow and develop your ideas through more complex actions later on. The important thing is that you act now, rather than spending more time planning or researching. The Ace of Wands is also indicative of a time in your life where you have a breakthrough moment and feel very inspired and motivated about a particular idea or passion. Your eyes have been opened to a whole new world and you are now very excited about the possibilities and the opportunities that are available to you. You are showing huge potential at this time and are driven by a strong, creative force. It is as if there is a latent talent within that is just bursting to get out and be fully utilized. This is also a perfect time to draw upon your imagination and to make your dreams reality. You are being offered an opportunity here that shows great promise but it will be up to you to make the most of it and to maximize the potential for the longer term. It is almost like the spark that is needed to fuel a huge fire but you must work hard to build the fire up as the spark itself is not enough to make such a large fire. The energy of the Ace of Wands can also signify restlessness or uncertainty as to how to proceed. You may have energy and passion but not yet have a clear outlet for its expression. All of these wonderful ideas are beginning to build up from within and you are just bursting with energy but now you must find a way to effectively express this energy in a way that will set you up in the longer term. The second card for you is representing, what do you want most right now? Your card is, the Ten of Pentacles. What you want most right now is to reach a point of completion and accomplishment in your journey. This sense of accomplishment is likely to be as a result of an improved career path, more solid financial reserves, a stable home environment and a possible committed and long-term relationship. This is one of those cards that shows that everything will eventually come together in a wonderful way and you will feel highly successful and proud of everything you have achieved. You will also feel compelled to share this success with others to ensure that they are also well cared for. With the focus on the family, you may be more inclined to direct a lot of your energy into ensuring that your family has everything that they need, from finances to security and a good home life. You want to ensure that your children and family will always have everything they need. This card shows how family, or even extended family, is incredibly important. It represents tradition, being a part of something bigger and realizing that the blood of your ancestors runs through your veins. It signifies that you are part of a long chain of individuals who subsequently creates a family, a tribe and a society. 
it provides structure where you can sit safely and comfortably, knowing that you are a part of history and heritage. The Ten of Pentacles is also a card of affluence and wealth. You are blessed with material abundance and are now free from any sort of money troubles. You feel financially secure and you are fortunate enough to have luck and success on your side to ensure your financial reserves are high. This card reflects permanence and creating a lasting foundation for future success. It is a card of commitment to a sustainable future, taking into consideration not just the short-term benefits of a particular venture but also the long-term benefits. It is about investing in the long term and knowing that you need a consistent approach in order to achieve success that will last the test of time. The third card for you is representing your fears. Your card is the page of wands. You are afraid that your new ventures or projects might not be successful. You may have had a vision to start a new hobby or project with the view that it would lead to bigger and better things but you soon realized that you had taken the wrong approach and it wasn't leading to the growth and development you had expected. You may have started to realize that you had not really focused enough on what your goals and objectives were and that is why you were not reaching the outcomes you wanted. Luckily, you had not progressed too far along and were able to easily retreat from those projects with limited impact. Sometimes, too, these setbacks can be helpful in testing out new territories and exploring what will and will not work for you. You may also find that your eagerness to start something new has been negatively impacted by complexities, obstacles and opposition, which has resulted in a lack of motivation and indecisiveness about your path forward. You may also be fearful of whether you can really get your project or idea up and running, or if you are just going to be weighed down by more responsibility and troubles. The Page of Wands can depict a person who is immature with a self-image problem. It could be someone who is mean-spirited and aggressive, or someone who is helpless and always a victim. This is someone who never has anything good to say, is always pessimistic, and always brings everyone down. This person undercuts your enthusiasm and your self-confidence. Often, this is a superficial, lazy and arrogant person, one who is unwilling to make an effort, and is uncooperative and impatient. The fourth card for you is representing, what is going for you. Your card is, the King of Wands. You have to stay focused on your long-term goals. You are someone who is very visionary and goal-oriented. You achieve a lot because you are very clear about your future direction and how you will get there. You do not waste your time on activities or relationships that you believe will lead nowhere. You never just go with the flow, instead you prefer to embark on a strong and direct course of action. The King of Wands reminds you to lead your life with intent, vision and a long-term view. Know that even though you are experiencing challenges now this is just a part of your journey to something much more positive. Eventually, you will see this time as just a little blip on the radar and it will have simply served to make you stronger. Stay focused on your long-term goals. The appearance of the King of Wands also suggests that an opportunity is presenting itself to you, and you now have the power to accept the opportunity and take on the challenge. You are the determining factor in this situation, and circumstances will navigate in the direction you steer them. Indecision or doubt will not be appropriate responses when clarity and confidence are acquired. However, as you progress in this new role, it will begin to feel more comfortable. The fifth card for you is representing, what is going against you? Your card is, the Queen of Wands. There will be a situation in which someone is behaving in a manipulative, pushy or selfish way. One of you seems to be in a chronically bad mood, and is angry, resentful and jealous. You may find yourself being attacked or bullied, or behaving this way yourself. 
perceptions are skewed and information is being twisted into lies. Someone is demanding, controlling, petty and narrow-minded. The Queen of Wands can also indicate that you have recently lost your confidence in yourself and have become a shrinking violet. You shy away from being in the limelight as you worry that others may think you are not the real deal anymore. You may have even had a recent fall from grace and are now slightly embarrassed about your reputation. What you need to do is restore faith and belief in yourself. Draw from that positive energy that usually lies within and know that you can combat anything once you set your mind to it. The last card for you is representing the likely outcome that you may have. Your card is the Seven of Wands. You have to maintain your position at the top while others compete and fight to achieve the same success and status that you have already achieved. Thus, competition is rife and you must continually prove yourself with the Seven of Wands. If your vision and creative effort is fulfilled to the point where there is public acclaim or acceptance of your success then you must expect competition and challenge, as other people will no doubt also desire the same things as you. There is a challenge to the continued success of a venture or creative project from an external source. While it appears to block your path forward, you can overcome this challenge or obstacle by drawing upon your strong self-confidence, self-belief and continual self-improvement. It can also be overcome with effort and clarity of purpose. The Seven of Wands is about holding your ground, despite ongoing challenges to your position and authority. You need to take a stand and defend your position at all costs. This will take courage and persistence but you have the strength and determination to do it. You see yourself as a battler and no matter what the challenge, you still have it in you to stand up for yourself and fight to the end. So, although you are experiencing a number of setbacks at the moment, you need to continue fighting for what you believe in and confronting others who may oppose or threaten you. There needs to be acceptance with this card that you are not always going to be able to win everyone over. There will always be challenges and opposition to your point of view and you cannot keep everyone happy all of the time. Thus, now is the time to draw your line in the sand, and say, this is who I am and this is what I need right now. There cannot be any compromise or negotiation at this time, just hold your ground with determination and courage. From quite a literal perspective, this card can indicate that you will be required to give a speech or write a paper on a contentious or highly debated issue. You will need to be ready to defend your argument and present hard facts that support your point of view. Expect to be challenged but enjoy this challenge as it will help you to create an even more robust argument. Last but not least, the guidance card for you is The Unity Working in groups enriches you right now. You drew this card because it's time for you to expand your circle of friends or join a group. For example, you may want to enroll in school or become part of a spiritual organization. This is also an optimal time to make friends with supportive new people who have integrity and a strong moral compass. It's also time to question and review any rules, restrictions, or limited beliefs that have been placed around your current situation, by you or by others, to make sure that they're fair to everyone involved. This can lift any previous blocks to the manifestation of your goals. Additional meanings of this card, experts or mentors. The search for meaning in life. Having faith in a group of people. Schools and spiritual institutions. Sandalphon is the archangel who delivers prayers from earth to heaven. Call upon him to increase your faith and your commitment to your dreams and goals. I hope that you enjoy everything and if you like the reading just please click subscribe and you will get the instant notifications every time we publish a new video right to your uh, YouTube. Thanks.